Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, X here with Good Clean Gaming RX and today we are back in Eco on the Leaving on a Jet Plane server. Um, I'm attempting to find iron ore in this episode since I've uh, resettled my base, I guess, in the desert biome and uh, we're going to see if we can find iron ore in this video. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a little self-promotion here. Um, if you guys are finding these videos helpful, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers this year, making very good progress. Uh, thanks to all of you who have subscribed. Uh, if you haven't yet, go ahead and uh, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and uh, join us on the journey. Okay, so as I said, today we're going to try and uh, find some iron ore. Um, I'm down uh, about 20, 20 blocks or so down here uh, at this point, which is generally where we start to find iron ore. Um, I may need to dig around a little bit or perhaps go a little bit deeper. Um, I'm going to go ahead and basically do some uh, what I call spider mining, uh, where you basically just dig some, some long shafts and then you dig out a couple of... Uh, of parallel shafts uh, along it. I suppose it'd be more of a comb would be the actual uh, the actual uh, structure of the mine. Um, but I, I kind of call it spider mining. And we're going to see if we can find some iron ore. Um, go ahead and move all of that out of there. There we go. We'll move this one. That's silly there we go right there and we're still not seeing any so I think I'm probably gonna go a little bit deeper here um, oh there we go never mind <laughs> known as sooner said than found there we go come on there we go so there's our iron ore I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mine out uh, some room right here for placing our uh, medium stockpile. Um, or I suppose it's, it's technically a small stockpile, um, as the standard stockpile is just called a stockpile. Um, but those are a 3x3x... Three by three by, I think it's 3x3x... Three by three by hmm, it's a 3x3x3. Three by three by three. Actually, since it's only uh, you can only fit 12 high in there, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll just mine out a 3x3x3 three by three by three area here to stick that stockpile, and then we'll be able to start transferring stuff from this level all the way up to the top in a few short steps. Uh, we'll go ahead and move those there as well. Now I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, move or uh, we'll get rid of some of my sandstone here. So I'm going to hopefully uh, take and sell that. And whoops, oh, I've cut it too low now. Um, sell some of that and be able to, number one, pay for uh, my diet. There we go. Uh, we'll go ahead and we need a little bit more fat in our diet now. There we go. That's a bit better. And nope, that's not the one that we want. There we go. Oh, it's too full now. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and dig this up. There we go. There we go. And that should allow us to place down the stockpile as soon as we dig this out go. Um, let's see, that should fit right into there. There we go, very good. And perfect. Okay, so we can now just go up to our midpoint stockpile here and transfer everything from here and everything, there we go, from the bottom all the way up to the top. And that's our fastest method of moving everything. We'll go ahead and pick these up here. There we 
go. Alright. Let's go ahead and start mining out some of that iron ore. There we go. And we'll see just how big this vein is. It looks like it could be a, a very small one at this point. Um, I do not see any more there. Go ahead and move out a little bit more of this uh, sandstone here quickly. There we go. So we can actually get down here and access this little bit. And yes, it looks like it is a, a smaller vein right now. Um, I was hoping for a little bit more. But we'll continue digging this out and see what we can find. Sometimes it uh, it starts off very small and thin, and then expands out from there. Let me see too. Yes, I can sell it there for 0.2, which I find incredibly funny that I can sell the ore for less than I can sell the sandstone that it's found in. But it's good for me. Um, I'm <laughs> quite capable of, of finding sandstone and then uh, transporting that and selling it. this point we need to go ahead and repair our pickaxes. We don't have any left uh, that are in a state of use. So we'll go ahead and we're just going to transfer everything using control shift and drag and move everything up to the top and then we're going to go ahead and repair all of our pickaxes And there should be a third in here. There we go. Three. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and we're going to move all of the sandstone that we can right there. And I'm going to go ahead and we'll ooh, take this and sell it quickly. And uh, make a little bit of money. With that, I'm hopefully going to finance uh, getting a couple of upgrades. So that I can... Uh, and some nice architecture. Yeah, so that I can have a little bit better uh, processing. less resource use with that processing. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll take this over to Pelican store here and sell off our sandstone. Not sure exactly what he's using it for, but uh, let's see here, crushed sandstone, he's selling it, okay. Um, sandstone, there we go, about 240 of those. Thank you Pelican, very good. Uh, purchasing advanced upgrade twos. What is he selling? Does he have any? No. No advanced upgrade threes. Iron pipe, iron hammer. How about anvil? No anvils either. We'll just have to make our own. Alright, since we're over here, I'm going to go ahead and... Well, we'll pull this out of the way first so that we're not blocking anybody. And I'm going to go ahead and get my rocker box. Uh, which I unfortunately left at my other house in the last episode. And we're going to grab that quickly. And then get back to mining and hopefully making money. Um, that was 240 puns right there. 
um, because he's got that up for a dollar a piece. And so I should hopefully be able to, uh, if I'm quick about it, uh, finance a pretty decent expansion with that uh, right off the bat. And then I can start turning out. We'll go ahead and we'll cancel this and cancel that and we'll take that module, thank you, and pick that up. Perfect. Is there anything else here? Not really. Let's go ahead and take that off of there. Actually, you know what, let's just go ahead and turn this door off. There's a new uh, deactivate button. There we go. Copper Penny is closed for business. And once we get a store set up over here, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll move that and reopen it a little bit closer over here. There we go. A little bit of lag on the server. Um, hopefully that will be not too bad. Leveling up glass working, leveling up mining, thanks to our processing. Um, I guess, let's see here, the rocket box. Let's check basic upgrade 4. Yes, we can buy it at the store for 80 puns. Perfect. Let's go ahead, and I'm going to run back there quickly and grab one of those. Um, we don't quite have the mining level necessary to upgrade that to a basic mining upgrade. Um, but that's going to greatly reduce our cost as far as the processing goes. So let's go ahead and pick that up. Uh, Rock drill. Where is that? Oh, it no longer exists. Never mind. Okay, well, let's try this then. That's a little trick there. I learned if you uh, type that in camel case. You actually pull up all of those, buy those there, to uh, sell it, buy it at the login. Where is that at? Oops. Oh, right there. Okay, perfect. We'll go grab one there. That's enough for me to bother getting that. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab a basic upgrade 3. There we go. We've got plenty of money for that. And, ooh sale, basic upgrade twos, iron bars, nails. Oh, they're purchasing them, never mind. Okay, um, let's see if there's anywhere that we can make some nice trades here. A waxed ice box. Waxed box of ice. <laughs> uh, what, oh, skill value two, okay. Uh, machinist table, lumber stockpile, 70. I'm almost willing to grab one of those. Not quite. Tree, wooden latrine. No, okay. 
and is not currently purchasing anything that I can sell. Ooh, skewer meat. Hoo-hoo. Oh, that's a nice one. Very nice. Some very high grade uh, high grade foods there. That's uh, there is a a beekeeping mod uh, that was added to the server this time around, uh, which people have been experimenting with and and having great fun. Let me see if there are some basic salads here. No, completely sold out of basic salads. Uh, we can buy it at Mermaids. Okay, uh, where is this? Oh! That's not too far from my house. Perfect. We'll pop down there and get some of them then. Menagerie right there, perfect. We'll have to pop down there and get some basic salads, that'll help our, our, how, our, our skill point gain rather nicely. Okay, let's go ahead and set up that rocker box. There we go. And we'll go ahead and we'll produce an iron concentrate here. Let's go ahead and set up for 20 of those, and we'll go ahead and put our Mining Upgrade 3 into there. Very good, and that will greatly reduce the cost necessary for that. We'll add the work, and let's see here, storage, that's good right there. We're going to go ahead and we're going to add a number 2, Basic Upgrade 2 to that and that'll reduce the time, not the quantity necessary, but the time at least. Uh, let's go ahead and do, uh, let's do 50 of those. There we go, and we'll go ahead and do the work there. Alright, I'm going to have to go down and grab some of that, uh, some of that yummy basic salad, because I want to kind of maximize the skill gain that I can get here. 62 is just not cutting it for me. Ooh, quite a bit of lag there. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this. Okay. Okay, so I've gone ahead and gotten some of those basic salads. Let's eat one of those quickly. Whew, yes, that's a nice skill gain there. Very good, 69.6 now. Four days. Very good. Well, let's reduce that significantly. and should help us to level a little bit faster in each of our different uh, professions as well. Now generally when you find an iron vein, uh, it runs somewhere between three and four blocks thick. Uh, sometimes you'll get ones that are just like one one block thick, very very thin, uh, very thin veins, and uh, those ones are almost not worth their time unless someone's uh, or purchasing sandstone or you can uh, turn the sandstone into something profitable yourself. Um, or of course if you're running a skid steer. Um, in which case, that uh, that extra sandstone that you're pulling out uh, really doesn't cost you anything, and so you can uh, you can either throw it away or crush it up and turn it into sand, uh, which can then be used by any of the glass workers or masons on the server. Um, there's generally not too much of an issue getting rid of getting rid of sand 
once people get into glass working. This one's actually turned out to be quite a nice, uh, quite a nice vein. Don't want to box myself in there. six here. It's not too far away. There we go. And that's got that one filled up. And we'll go ahead and move all of those. Oop, we'll go ahead and leave those there. There we go. We'll move all of them up to there. I really should have gotten myself a couple more of Astra. Okay, and we'll go ahead and access our bloomery here, and we'll go ahead and start smelting some iron. see where can we sell those iron bar we can sell it for five at manbot mining or for four at the login very nice so we'll be able to, to start making some money there uh, relatively quickly just going to go ahead and see how far this one is going to extend while we're right here at the start. And see approximately how much we'll be able to pull out of here. I really can't wait till I hit six there. Uh, what are we looking at here? Another 7,000? That shouldn't be too hard to get. is one of those skills that levels quite quickly, especially when you get a, a decent, decently high uh, XP gain, simply because you're using it constantly. Like every time you hit a rock, it's, uh, it's 69, well, whatever your skill gain is, for me it's 69.6. Um, each time I hit a rock. So, quite fast. the first break. We'll go ahead and swap out to a different pickaxe there. There we go. Good. And I'm sure it won't be very long before we can uh, actually purchase some things to make a make a house here, and uh, start to upgrade. There we go. Very good. Oops. Let's go ahead and move that up there as well. Goodness, this is quite a decent one. Getting 
class for every minute. Wow. Not too hungry. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead then and we'll try and balance this out nicely. Uh, eat one of those. Very good. And what have we got there? No, we don't want that one. How about this one? There we go. Oop, now it's too full. This one's going to be quite a large one, I think. Um, we're already talking at least three, at least three blocks tall uh, for most of this. And uh, we're already looking probably 15 blocks wide at least uh, by 15 blocks long. Well, ten at, ten at least, uh, just judging by that. start dealing with tailings. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and drag all of these down here and down to there so that we don't have to deal with them. And we'll go ahead and put all of those up to there. Very good. Uh, smelt iron. So we want to go ahead and... Where's this one? Let it know, yes, you can use that one or that one. Take your pick. There we go. And we now have $12 worth, or $15 worth, I suppose, or puns worth of iron bars. Okay, um, let's see what else we can get for this here. Um, sell it for 0.7 there. Very nice. Or we can sell that for 1. It still makes more sense to sell uh, just the sandstone. There we go, very good. And how about, well, what can we use this in? We can turn it into sand, and we can then sell that for one pun there. So considering that it takes two of those, it's uh, it's definitely easier and cheaper for me to just sell that directly as sand. I'm going to go ahead and drag that one down there. try and basically find the edges of this so that we can uh, bury the tailings in those edge gaps. And we'll, we'll work from the outside in. Which I suppose is, is really the way I should have been doing it um, all along. It's the most uh, most efficient way of um, 
having a place to bury your tailings and also get around. Looks like we're getting close to running out on this uh, second pickaxe for the durability. This is quite a large one. Here we go. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead, we'll fill up the rest of this stockpile here, and then I think that's going to be whoop, the rest of today's video. Um, I'll just go ahead and drag up to there, there we go, that's fine. Um, as we've hit our 30 minute mark again, and so uh, we'll call that uh, the end of today's episode. Um, as I said at the start of the video, if you guys have found this uh, helpful or interesting, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, and uh, stay tuned for more on the server. Alright everyone, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ta-ta.